I'm finally almost not sick, everyone. Rejoice. All right, we've got a whole bunch of new cars to go over. I'm feeling a lot better now. The cough is almost gone. We'll be having streams again soon. I'm feeling good about it. But yeah, let's get through some cards. Uh, we have a new archetype to discuss. But first, let's take a look at Spell Card Monster Reborn. I already talked about this on Twitter a little bit because I was uh, I was away on visiting relatives on holiday. You know, you know how it is. And I, I looked at, I had, went ahead and looked at this because it was like last night. And uh, this card is silly. Uh, the name especially, Mo Spell Card Monster Reborn, is the silliest name you could give this card. Uh, I mean, what, what, are we gonna keep? Are we gonna keep doing this? Like, are we gonna make like spell card, heavy storm, spell card, uh, pot of greed, spell card branded fusion? <laughs> make a quick play branded fusion. It'll, it'll be fine. So yeah, this is a quick play spell that allows you to target a monster in either graveyard, to special summon it to your field, but it cannot attack or activate its effects this turn. It only lasts till the end of the turn. Uh, you can only activate one of these cards per turn. So. A lot of people have been talking about this uh, as an interruption, which, yeah, it is true. It is an interruption. It is also a uh, an extender, uh, but it's not a good one. Like, people have been talking about this like, oh, this is pretty good. It's like better DD Crow. No, no, it's worse Monster Reborn. Like, it's, that's what it's designed to be. It's designed to be worse Monster Reborn, but with a quick place effect to make it, maybe make the trade-off wor worth it. But no, uh, like... If you're going first, it's a better DD Crow. Like it, I will, I will agree to that. It, it is a better DD Crow if you're going first. But if you're going second, it's nothing. It's nothing in your hand. Like, I don't know. This is this is a. It, how many times do we have to go through the unsearchable quick play spell is not good unless it's exactly super polymerization before we realize that all of these unsearchable quick play spells, especially the ones that have been coming out over the past couple of days or weeks they're not they're like okay they're just fine like they're maybe situationally good i could see this card being good in cash tira where you need to make sure you're having all these level seven monsters i could see it being good in uh sprite where if someone interrupts your uh level two it, like gets rid of it you need to get another level two on field and this is a way to do that uh i could see it being good in formats where you absolutely need a hand trap to resolve while it's your turn or i guess like if you're going first during your opponent's turn but like <laughs> that's pretty few and far between you know <laughs> like what what how many situations are like that so yeah i don't think this is particularly good but it is funny it is very funny the name is incredibly funny anyways let's talk about the new cards here Rika. Budding Calamity. The theme is aggressively Japanese. Preserve the field. We cut this name in Japanese. Interesting. Similar to the spirit monster have been done in the past. Cool. Tri Brigade 2 is an interesting comparison point. Let's check out what this is. Uh, so the first card here we have Raika no Marikuba. Isn't there a card that's... No, it's Mar Mariku Yokaiba or something. Um, But yeah, this is a level 1 plant monster. Hello... Is this a this is a lone fire blossom target for sure? Uh, you can special summon, or you can only special summon with the first effect this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect this card's name once per turn. Okay, so they're both once per turns basically. Well, the other one, the other one's like a built-in effect here. Um, you can special summon this card from your hand by sending one insect, plant, or reptile monster from your hand to the graveyard. Insect, plant, or reptile. That's an interesting combination. Or we're, we're making like a new tri type out of insect, plant, and reptile. That's fun. I like that. Uh, insect and plant uh, makes a bit more sense together than reptile does, but reptile also doesn't really have anything to do currently. <laughs> like reptile cards are generally pretty bad, so I'm, I'll, I'll allow it. It's an earth monster, so it's not uh, got ogdoatic typings. Um. That's interesting. If this card is normal system, you can add up to two of your or you could add up to two or your Rika. Uh, I think it's just supposed to be. I think it's just a typo. It's of you can add up to two of your Rika cards with different names that are banished or in your deck to your hand, except for Rika no Marikubo or Kube. Then banish one Rika card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except for insect, plant, and reptile. Mm, that means ball head. It really does have a ball head. Um, that's neat. 
I like that. It adds two and then banishes one. I don't, maybe some of these cards will have effects on banish. We'll have to see. And here we have a little insect guy. Oh, I like him. I like the designs on these. These are some really cool arts. I was excited when I saw these uh, announced on Twitter because th the art looks really cool. I really like it. Uh, Raika no Yazuhu, or Yahazu Kamakiri. Kamakiri means praying mantis. I know this because of Kamakuras, uh, the Godzilla monster. All right, you can only switch summon with the first Victus card's name once per turn. Ooh, do all these special summon by place? Oh, by doing things with insect plants and reptiles. This one does something different though, because this one is by sending from hand, hand to grave, and this one is by placing one of your banished insect plants or reptile monsters on the bottom of the deck. So that gives you something to do with the banished cards off of Raika no Mar Kubo Kube. Ah, I can't. I don't know why I'm getting that wrong. Uh, which means this is a one card combo with this, which is neat. Level three insect. It's a light. But it's an insect, so it doesn't have anything to do with Ogdoatic necessarily. Um, so yeah, special summon by that, and then the other effect is once per turn. If this card is set to the graveyard as material for a, the link summon of a Rika monster, you can target one level four or lower insect, plant, or reptile in your graveyard, except for this, and then special summon in defense position. Cool. That's a pretty good extension there. Uh, all right. Kamir, isn't it Kamakiri though? Not Kamiri. Long neck, long horn beetle, but it's actually a wordplay on Yahazukiri. A phrase that means cutting something so fast the enemy doesn't even notice. In particular, brook of one piece. Of special. Okay, that's fun. That's a fun little uh, wordplay there. I guess I could see a praying mantis being called a beetle. They're kind of beetle like. Uh, Raika no Yorai Tokage. This. This looks like a Mayakashi, like the Mayakashi wheel, the, the, the wheel guy. Uh, level four, dark reptile. Okay, so we have level one, earth plant, level three, light insect, and level four, dark reptile. Not really any theming with the attributes, uh, other than like in the individual card theming. Uh, and this has a special limit effect, and another effect is once per turn. All right, you can special limit this card from your hand by banishing one insect, plant, or reptile monster from your graveyard. Okay, so this is an extender. Can discard an insect, plant, or reptile monster and target one face up monster your opponent controls, except an insect, plant, or reptile monster and return it to the hand. So if they're on the same deck, you're screwed. Okay. That's not particularly good, but uh, it has some uses for sure. Uh, returning to hand is nice, but it requires a discard and it can't target an insect, plant, or reptile. That's annoying. Uh, Yoroi Tokage means armored lizard written as armored stone dragon isn't there a card called armored lizard pretty sure all right so we got the first link monster so these are going to be what really determines the power level of the deck uh look at that art man uh raika no musha dokuro uh fire plant link effect monster link two 1600 attack and the nice arrows nice link arrows uh, two monsters, including an insect, plant, or reptile monster. So the second monster can be anything. That's neat. You can only use the first and second effect of this card name once per turn. Also, you cannot switch the monster for the turn you activate them except for insect, plant, or reptile monsters. Ugh. Pretty nasty locks we got putting on here, but that's okay. You can target one Raika monster in your graveyard, especially in the defense position. Oh, okay. I see why now. <laughs> if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one insect, plant, or reptile monster you control. Place it on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, special summon this card. Hmm. And then the text here means warrior skeleton that's uh interesting yeah so it's uh it, it's a link two that makes a link three easily and then a uh a link it also comes back to be two more material uh we have a link three here which is raika no ukaminushi ukaminushi wind insect link effect so we got a wind now there's just all sorts of attributes in here uh Let's see, two plus monsters, including insect, plant, or reptile. Okay. You only use the first, second, and first and second effects of this card's name once per turn. Can banish two insect, plant, or reptile monsters from your graveyard. Add one Rika trap from your deck to your hand. Ooh, there's gonna be some traps that are maybe worth searching. Cool. Banish two, though. That's pretty rough. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one insect, plant, or reptile monster you control, place them on the bottom of the deck, and if you do special summon this card, also you can have special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except for insect, plant, or reptile monsters. Okay, so it also has that ef same effect that this one has. Oh. Okay, yeah, I mean, it has. it's literally the same effect. The lock just comes in 
in this effect instead of on both effects. Uh, so the, the search doesn't lock you, just the bringing it back does. Uh, so you definitely don't want to banish the link monsters. I assume you want to do a lot of link climbing. Uh, and you're gonna have to like banish the materials you use for the link climb or the stuff you discard the special summon Hmm The the fact that you're having to get a critical mass of these guys is a little worrying to me All right. Oh, we got a link for now Going up 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 Raika no Kusaragi Ta. Kusarigami sorry Raika no Kusarigami Fire Reptile Link Effect. Uh, 2,900 attack. For really good arrows. Look at that. All, bottom three. And the bottom two on there, too. Wow. We got a lot of... Uh, oh, we got another one coming, too. Two plus monsters. Wow. Two plus monsters on that. Uh, including Insect Mountain Reptile. We use the first attack with the second card's name once per turn. If your opponent activates a monster effect, you can make both players unable to activate monster effects in the hand for the rest of this turn. Whoa. Hmm. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem very good. Like, don't all these effects activate in the hand, or do they activate at all? I don't know that these activate. These might just be built-in summons. I think I think they're built-in summons, so these wouldn't activate. So this lets you, um, if your opponent activates a hand trap while you have this guy on field, they can't activate any more hand traps, but by the time you get this guy on the field, they should have already gone through all their hand traps, right? Like, what's the point of that? And then if you do it on your opponent's turn, it stops you from hand trapping them. This is a bad card, or it's a bad effect. Uh, that, I don't like that. It only makes sense if they're like playing, I guess, brand like Brandon with the Bistials. Uh, I don't know about that. This card's in your graveyard, blah, 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 same effect. Okay. That's cool that the Link 4 does that too. Uh, Chain Snake Serpent. What I what's interesting about these is that these guys can like really uh swarm the field. Is it still one? Yeah, still one insect plant or reptile to do that. Uh, and then we have the Link Five, which is still just two material required, but of course you're gonna have to have the Link Five uh stuff. Earth Insect, thirty three hundred attack, like uh, like the Live Twin boss monster uh if a monster is special summon from your opponent's deck or extra deck you can destroy two monsters in the field that's pretty neat uh i wish it wasn't destruction but that's pretty neat this card is in your graveyard you could target one and that's a once per turn effect too so you have to be careful when you use that this card is in your graveyard you can do the same thing that you do for all the other ones to get uh, i mean they have a lot of um uh staying power i will say that they're not they're not great effects as far as like their act the, the effects they have on field but they uh, they have a lot of returning power, a lot of uh, grind game. All right, <clears throat> you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. It's a continuous spell. Raika Ryoran Kuri Kurui Saki. God, I hope I'm not just. just I, mean, I know I'm massacring it a little bit, but I hope I'm not absolutely destroying it. All insect, plant, and reptile monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. Also, all other face-up monsters on the field lose 300 attack and defense. Fun. Fun. Uh, you can activate one of these effects. Add one Raika monster from your deck to your hand, then discard one card. Why oh, have we got a discard? Why can't we just add? And then uh, special summon one of your Raika monsters is banished or in your graveyard, or hand or graveyard in defense position. Okay. Blossoming profusely like what flowers do, but instead of skulls. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I love blossoming skulls. Uh, so this continuous card is, or continuous spell is pretty good. But the fact that you have to discard is so annoying. It means that instead of getting... Like, unless you already have these guys, you you probably go for this one, right? So you can banish one in Grave to get started. Like, if, if you if you already have this guy, you probably don't. But this gets, that gets good stuff in Grave. I guess it also lets you, like, do Link Climb stuff as well. But man, I don't know. This, this is, um... This deck doesn't seem very good, if I'm being honest. It doesn't seem very good so far. All right, and we have a normal trap, which means Labyrinth activates when you activate it. So that's fun. I've gotten really annoyed at Labyrinth players activating uh, on the the effect of uh, 
branded banishment and stuff like that. So like whenever I see an archetype that isn't like Labyrinth or something that would work well with Labyrinth and I see a normal trap in it, I get really annoyed about it. And this is the only trap we can search off of that search effect. It's like, why is there only one trap if we have a trap search effect? Anyways, let's see what it does. You only use the first second effects of this card name each once per turn. Target cards, your opponent controls up to the number of insect, plant, and reptile link monsters you control with different types. That's why they all have different types. And then destroy them? Come on, man. Destruction. <laughs> Why destruction? Like, come on. Can't you do can't you give us something better than destruction for a trap card? If a face-up insect rep plant or reptile launch you control is destroyed by a battle or card effect, those cards in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there. Banish this card and target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Red Ring Head Hunting Dance. Oh yeah, I didn't read it. Raika Dairin Kubi Karimari. Karimai. Bad card. For for an archetype that has a built-in trap search, and it's only trap, it doesn't search the spell. Uh that's a bad trap card, dude. Like Cause like you're gonna be summoning back these link monsters to link climb. So that you can make the link five, or maybe the, or at least the link four. You're not gonna be like all these little guys special summon themselves, but only once per turn. And all these link monsters special summon themselves once per turn. So the, when you set this trap card, you're going to get like one or two destructions off of it. That's nothing. That's nothing. This this card has. It's a continuous spell that has a search and then makes you discard. Look at Gold Sarcophagus of Light. Gold Sarcophagus of Light has a negate. It has two negates. This this deck has... Turn off your hand traps. This deck has a card that says turn off your hand traps when your opponent activates an effect. <laughs> what? Why? I was so excited for this. This looks so cool. This is bad, dude. This is not good. Maybe the second wave will make sense. Maybe the second wave will actually make sense. This is from Legacy of Destruction. Is this from Legacy of Destruction? What, where is this from? I think it's from Legacy of Destruction. Uh, let's see. Yeah, L L E D E. <laughs> Letta. Yeah. This is literally the same set that Gold Sarcophagus of Light is coming out in, and they have like worse continuous <laughs> spell. I, I, it does it does special summon as the other effect, but you can only activate one of them per turn. <sighs> this is really annoying. This is actually really annoying. Like, I, the second wave would probably make it better because the second wave is going to bring in more monsters. And that's what the, I think the biggest problem of this is, is that there's three main deck monsters. You, the deck is nothing with three deck, main deck monsters. And then you have to, like, you have to use all these link monsters as link climb material. And you can use uh, the continuous spell to special summon one of them. No, you can't because it has to be in defense position. So you can't summon the link monsters that, that way. So you can't save a step here to actually get more link monsters on field. Instead, you can special summon one of the normal ass monsters that can special summon themselves, but just once per turn. So you, that gets you four materials. So you can make you could theoretically make the the rank four guy without having to use up the uh, special summon effects, and you could get like a bunch of these guys on field. Uh, why would you do that? Because none of these are quick effects except for until you get to the the rank four or link four and the link five. And the link five says destroy two monsters on field, and then the trap says destroy a whole bunch more monsters on field. It's redundant. And then this guy again just turns off your hand traps. And by the time you get to this guy. You won't, you don't need to turn off the opponent's hand traps anymore. And they made the they made the mantis guy and the this they made these two light and dark so you can get bestialed. 
so you don't even have like stuff to engrave to banish anymore. Oh wow. Mmm, these are so bad. Dog. These are these are awful. I mean, like, I I'm really I'm I mean, I'm exaggerating, of course, because they're not awful. They're just bad. Like, and all this with all the all the locks that you have in place. So like, you can't special summon for the rest of the turn except for insect plants or reptile monsters. You couldn't make these cards better to compensate for that. These cards are not particularly good. They're like decent, I guess. Like they're not even rogue. This is not rogue. This is like decent, maybe. Like if we're using hard legs tier system, it might even be below decent and like full on, just like mm. you know that, that full. Like, I don't remember what that that was. That tier just called casual or something. Cause like, what's the point? Like what's the point? Is there is there like a a some really good cards I'm like missing out on the context here, like in the insect department. I guess in the plant department, we have, you know, Lone Fire Blossom can get us access to Rika, which means we have six copies of Rika, kinda. Uh, and we can use the Lone Fire Blossoms to at banish to get, like, our guys back, or as the banishes for, you know, for whatever these guys are doing, put it, or putting them back to get this guy on the field. So, like, that works as like some extra consistency tools um as far as insects go there's bee troopers you could just slot in some bee there's some actually pretty good bee trooper link monsters hold up do these have to be rika no they just have to be insect plant or reptile um so you could have like some of the bee trooper uh link monsters although the bee trooper link monsters I think require insect material, like pure insect material. So you'd have to make sure you're getting insects on field. Uh, and unfortunately, okay, the, the link three is an insect. That's good. The link three is an insect. That's like the most important part, I think, actually, is that the link three is because then you can go into the link four bee trooper. So that's okay. So I, I'm like I'm putting it back in the context. It's not as bad as I thought. I, I, I've forgot that we were, we're allowed to use uh, the... We're locked, but we're not locked that heavily. We're still tri-typing it. Um, you know, although, a different tri-type, obviously. Rika typing. <laughs> um, Rye type. There we go. Rye type. Uh, so, yeah, we can use Lone Fire to get Rika, which is like a, a one-card combo with... Uh, I said, I'm saying Rika, uh, Mari. I'm just gonna call it Mari. Uh, you can, which is a one-card combo with Yah Yahazu, or maybe just Kamakiri. Maybe Kamakiri is the, the shorthand here. So you know, we can with Mar Mari Kube with, and then that combos with Kamakiri, and uh, uh, Kamakiri uh, has some extension actually, which can, when it, when it's sent to the graveyard's material, it can grab either uh, the. Marikube or the Lone Fire that you used to get Marikube on field or whatever. Um, although it has to, especially summon itself, it has to be uh, placing a banished insect plant. But maybe you have something banished, maybe you don't. Um, or maybe you're just normal summoning this one because you still do have your normal summon. Wait, no, you don't because you, unless if you use your normal summon for Lone Fire. That is one thing. None of these guys use up your normal summon. So uh, you could have that bl Lone Fire in as, as your normal summon. You could have like two more normal summons in here. I don't know what they would be. Maybe B Trooper, like, uh, what, what is it? Scout is the one that searches. Uh, I don't, I'm actually not, I, I know, I know someone, I know a lot, of, a lot of the plant monsters. Maybe this is why, they, this, is this why they hit uh, Plant Link? I can't imagine. These, I don't think these actually work. I mean, they, 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 they do work with it, but they don't work with it, if you know what I'm saying. Because Plant Link locks you into plants pretty early on. And uh, the insect and reptile parts of this would really screw with that. Um, I don't know how Bee Trooper locks you, though. Um, so that that's a, that's a part that's like, um, I don't, I'm, I'm not super familiar with. Um, Scout Buggy. I'm looking it up uh, so I can look at specifically Scout Buggy because I think Scout Buggy is probably going to be the one that you would play here. Uh, normal special summon, special summon a Speed Trooper Scout Buggy. 
Wait, scout buggy summons another scout buggy from hand deck or grave? But it also locks you into insects. So, no, that's not very good. Like, it would it would be a good, like, one card combo to make it, like, you need two materials, and then you could go into the link to. But it's a plant monster, so you literally can't do that because it locks you into insects. So I guess bee troopers wouldn't work. But uh, the bee trooper boss monsters would still work. I'm looking it up right now. Um, I don't remember their names. I know Atlas is one of them, but I think okay, Invincible Atlas is the Link Four, which I think is the easiest one to make because it's gonna you can we can use uh, Ukaminushi uh, to go into it. And it requires two plus insect monsters, so if we have Ukamanushi and uh, Kamakuri specifically, we could go into Atlas, uh, which is a pretty decent card. Um, it you know can't be targeted, can't be destroyed. Um, it locks you into insect monsters, though. It locks you into insect monsters. Do all the, like, uh, is, are any of the fusions worth going into? Probably not, because you'd have to run the fusion spell without having any of the beat trooper cards, which apparently all lock you. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess, like, let me know if you know uh, beat troopers pretty well, if any of them would work here. Um, as far as reptiles go, I know reptiles fairly decently, so... Ogdoatics are like probably one of the better reptile archetypes that aren't specifically evils. I think evils are a better archetype than Ogdoatic, but evils are a tri-type of their own with uh, reptile, dragon, and uh, dinosaur. Uh, so they don't they wouldn't really play super well with this deck. Um, but as far as like reptile specific, you know, the two good ones are going to be Ogdoatics and Reptilian. Um, Ogdoatics really, I don't think, work with this. There's not a whole lot of tributing going on in this deck, but they do make some pretty... Like, you, you can make some pretty um, big stuff here because you, you can make uh, a lot of a lot of tribute material for the Ogdoatics. So if you run, like, a small Ogdoatic package, you could theoretically make a lot of... Um, Link material using uh, Ogdoatic Daybreak to make all the tokens, uh, but then you're stuck because by that point you you're like going into this stuff, so you're already locked in the insect, plant, or reptile, so you can't like go into to the stuff you would normally go into in the Ogdoatic deck. Like if you look at MBT's Ogdoatic Evol deck, you, you go into this like whole link combo thing with those tokens, which you wouldn't. You would have to go into a different one here that. Wouldn't and, and like all the car, all the link monsters in here are pretty terrible, so <laughs> like I don't I don't know what you do with that, but you could do it. Uh, Reptilians, on the other hand, um, are they have some like good cards, but I think they mostly work with themselves. Like nothing in this deck really has anything to do with making the opponent's monsters zero attack or anything, or really working with Reptilians in any way, shape, or form. Uh, other than the fact that they're reptiles. Um, and if you look at like, other reptile decks like Alien, there's, there's, there's not really enough going on there. Um, minor spelling mistake, I win. Uh, <laughs> um, God. So I, it's really just Lone Fire Blossom, right? And I guess you could like, you can go in, you can use this to, um, you could use, uh, Marikube to go into um, su Sun Avalon stuff, but it wouldn't be very good because the Sun Avalon stuff locks you into plants pretty early on too. Um, maybe the new Arrow Mage stuff might work better with this. It might might work with it somewhat. You could go into Arrow Mage Jasmine, but Arrow Mage Jasmine requires two plants, so you're gonna have to find some way to get a second plant on the field without being plant locked. Which is a really important part of that. That's the problem. Like, uh, 
none of the reptile cards really work well with this because they all have their own specific game plans that they're going with and all the plant stuff locks into plants and all the like all the good plant monsters lock you into plants and all the good insect monsters lock you into insects so i don't, I don't know what the idea here is here is between with, with, with making this try typing of three uh typings that don't work together like it when you look at tri brigade which is like obviously the like a the most direct comparison here you look at tri brigade and you're looking at a deck that is based on the fact that winged beasts be war beast warriors and beasts have a lot of cards that already overlapped and all in like a lot of cards that interact with tri brigade and don't lock you like a uh, rescue cat there's not an insect rescue cat you know <laughs> there's not a reptile uh DD Crow. <laughs> I guess you could play Kage to Kage. <laughs> I, Kage to Kage might actually not be a bad extender in this deck. Like, as long as you use your normal summon at some point, Kage to Kage could be a decent extender because it's a reptile that special summons itself. Like, you could go Lone Fire Blossom, Kage to Kage. And that feels really weird to say, because Kage to Kage should not be something I'm thinking about in 2023. But it's just like a decent reptile extender, you know? But is it... I don't remember. Does Kage to Kage have like a level requirement? I don't remember. I'm I'm looking that up too. This is going to be the longest one I've done in a while, because I'm just... I'm frustrated, because I was excited about this. The really cool art, a really cool idea to mix insect, plant, and reptile, but they didn't like think it through. You'd have to normal summon a level four monster. So if you're level, level, if you're summoning Lone Fire Blossom, you're not getting anything out of it. You have to specifically be summoning uh, Raika no Yore, Yoroi Tokage to get ta Kage to Kage off. And I don't think this is the one you want to be normal summoning, right? This is the one you want to be uh, using to banish so that you can use uh, Kamakiri this to summon itself. Mmm. Ah. This is, I, I, I guess let me know like what you, what you can think of because I want to, I want this deck to be good so bad because I, I really like the look of it and I think it's an interesting concept uh, and I like tri Brigade, so I was like this, you know, this is really cool too. Like I like that tri Brigade style of play, but tri Brigade this is not, you know, tri Brigade relies on a lot of cars that already existed like uh, Fire Formation Tanky, uh, Rescue Cat, uh, uh, Lyralisks uh, as like as like an archetype, uh, and this one is relying on Lone Fire Blossom, and which is a good card, but it's just one card, and it's not it's not a rescue cat. It's close, but it's not a rescue cat, and it is relying on like bee troopers, which don't it's lock and. I, it, it hurts my head. And this is this trap card. They made a specific trap search effect. And they made the trap so bad. Like, even if... Like, it, like, if you get the full effect off, it's a quick play Raigeki. Wow! It's, it's not even Raigeki. It targets. It's targeting. Why is it, a, why is it targeting destruction? And then, and then the second effect is more targeting destruction and it has to be it has to be on a different turn why even bother <laughs> who cares let them do it why not you made you made good raigeki break <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> oh my god oh my god and the well, the second effect is so bad too because like it has to be destroyed by a battle or card effect. Well, this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there. Like, put more conditions on it. Why not? Why don't you? It had, that'd be when the sun is rising in the in the east. <laughs> the, the sun must be uh, this many shades of red, and the oceans have to be this far away from the... It has to be at this, at this tide. Uh, like, Jesus Christ. Uh, and discard for the, like, we have Fire Formation Tanky. This is like, this is a worse Fire, they, they were like, uh, you know what made Tri Brigade good? Fire Formation Tanky. Why don't we give them a worse Fire Formation Tanky? The only thing that makes it like, 
at, at even equivalent even equivalent level is the fact that it special, can special summon instead of doing the search. But this, the fact that it made the search worse frustrates me. I, I don't think if you made it a search without a discard, it would have broken anything. And I, I get the discard helps you with the, like, you get the banish off of this guy to summon. But I can, there's other ways to get them out of the hand. Like this guy. This guy gets them out of the hand pretty well. Or, you know, normal summoning them. You still, because you still got that normal summon. Ah. Uh. Jesus. Yeah, this is this is annoying. I, I just don't like that the Link monsters don't do anything. A Link 2 is a good extender. It lets you keep the, the combo going. The Link 3 searches a trap, which maybe will be good someday. Maybe they'll print a good one in the second wave. They're, they're waiting for second wave to print a good Rika trap. This guy is... This is such an annoying effect, because it's just going to turn off all your hand traps you unless you're like you, you gotta you gotta like with this deck you're like if you're if you know you're going first you side out all your hand traps and you you just play uh you just play back row like you play solemn judgment and stuff like that imperm probably still uh like this this is this is ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous that it's like <laughs> this is this is the effect that he's decided to go with um, and then this, destroy two monsters. I love it. It's non-targeting destruction, at least, unlike the trap card. You know what the Link 4 in Chi Brigade does? It banishes. Non-targeting banish. The Link 5 in this deck? It pops two monsters. It's, it's an easier, like, activation condition, I'll give it that. But it has to be like when the monster is special summoned, so it's still you still have to have an activation condition instead of just being able to pop two on the field. It would be too powerful if you couldn't just pop two whenever you wanted to. Ugh. That's frustrating. Damn. I was I was hoping I would like this. Oh my god. I've been rambling for 37 minutes. Jesus Christ. Alright, I'll let you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, let me know if you have any other synergies. Maybe there's an insect deck I'm not thinking of that might be good in here. Um, I don't think there's a reptile deck I'm not thinking of that could be good in here. I don't think that's the case. Um, there could be a plant thing I'm not thinking of. Like, maybe some of the Aromage cards would actually combo well with this. And I'm just not, like, thinking of that. Like, um, I don't know, maybe maybe Jasmine might be good. You have to, like, gain life points. And this deck doesn't really have a good way to do that. Uh, unless you, you go into Aeromage, or Aeromazarafi Jasmine, I should say. And Aer Aeromazarafi is, like, pretty good. Um, but, and, and I think that might be played in this deck. Although, getting two plants on the field seems like a, a trouble for this deck. Um, unless you're using the Link monsters. But at that point, I don't think you really need Aerom Aeromazarafi Jasmine. Because Aeromazarafi Jasmine is, like, a combo extender, you know? Mm. Disappointing. I'm really disappointed. But yeah, uh, let me know if you have any cool synergies you can think of, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Uh, definitely not this long next time. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Hey there. Thanks for watching another video. Why don't you give it a like? Share it around, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. You know, the YouTube stuff. You can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more content. I got content plenty for ya. You can also support the channel by giving me money. You have a Patreon. If you join the Patreon, you can show up in the credits over here. I would really appreciate that. You can also use my TCG Player affiliate link to get any singles, sealed product, or accessories that you want, all to start reporting the channel at the same time. That's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye now.